In a significant turn of events, a recent development has taken the tech world by surprise. Huawei has confirmed that it is testing a homegrown extreme ultraviolet machine at its Dunguan facility in China. This breakthrough, slated to move into trial production by Q3 2025 and mass production by 2026, signals an unexpected leap in China's semiconductor ambitions. For years, Experts predicted that China would be at least a decade behind the West in producing cutting-edge ships like those built on the 3 nanometers process. But Huawei's trial is a direct challenge to that narrative, revealing just how far the country has come in overcoming technological barriers imposed by Western sanctions. This could change the semiconductor game forever, and China is proving it's no longer waiting for permission to lead. Semiconductors the tiny yet vital components that power everything from smartphones and cars to artificial intelligence systems have become the core of modern technological advancements. For decades, the semiconductor industry has been dominated by Western companies, especially those in Taiwan and the United States. TSMC and Intel have long been the giants in chip manufacturing, with their success largely driven by extreme ultraviolet lithography technology. EUV is crucial for producing smaller and more powerful chips, like those used in 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, and 3 nanometers designs, and is considered the cutting edge technology in semiconductor manufacturing. However, the situation changed drastically for China after the US imposed sanctions on its tech industry, particularly in 2020. The sanctions specifically targeted critical technologies, including EUV machines from ASML the Dutch company that controls the global market for EUV machines. Without access to this crucial technology, Chinese companies like Huawei and SMIC were left with no choice but to rely on older methods, such as deep ultraviolet lithography, which limits chip production to a 7 nanometers process. The prevailing view at the time was that China would be at least 10 to 15 years behind in the race to produce advanced semiconductor chips potentially leaving the country trailing behind its Western counterparts for the foreseeable future. Yet, despite these overwhelming odds, China's technological response has been far more aggressive and successful than expected. In early 2025, the announcement that Huawei was conducting trials with a domestically developed EUV machine in Dunguan confirmed what many had once considered impossible. China was advancing rapidly in the field of semiconductor production. What's even more remarkable is that the technology behind this breakthrough, known as laser-induced discharge plasma, is not just a step forward. It has the potential to leapfrog the existing EUV systems used by industry leaders like ASML. This new approach could prove cheaper, smaller, and more efficient than the traditional methods, and China is betting big on it. LDP technology works by vaporizing tin between electrodes and applying a high-voltage discharge to produce plasma, which then emits EUV light at a wavelength of 13.5 nanometers, the perfect wavelength for etching ultra-tiny circuits for advanced chips. What makes LDP different from the laser-produced plasma technology used by ASML is its smaller footprint and lower cost. While ASML's machines can cost upwards of $350 million, Reports suggest that Huawei's LDP-based system will be significantly more affordable, enabling faster and more widespread production. The technology has already moved beyond a laboratory phase. According to sources like WCCFT and Huawei Central, LDP-based EUV systems are being tested at Huawei's Dunguan site, with trial production slated to begin later in 2025. In 2023, a Chinese company believed to be SME, filed a patent for this LDP-based EUV technology, and now it is starting to materialize. If everything goes according to plan, mass production could begin by 2026, and China could flood the market with domestically produced 3 nanometers chips, dramatically altering the global chip market and breaking through the sanctions wall built by the U.S. Huawei and SMIC's collaboration in this effort is critical. While Huawei is the driving force behind this leap forward, SMIC, China's top chip manufacturer, is also deeply involved. The two companies are working together to break free from the constraints of older technology.
In fact, reports from the South China Morning Post in January 2025 revealed a significant breakthrough made by a team in Harbin, where they achieved a crucial EUV light source milestone at the 13.5 nanometers wavelength. This discovery is another indicator of China's fast-paced progress and its strategy to build a full EUV supply chain capable of producing the next generation of semiconductors. Why does 3 nanometers technology matter so much? The smaller the transistor, the more powerful and energy efficient the chip. Smaller 3 nanometers chips will enable the development of devices with far more computing power while consuming less energy, opening the door to advancements in AI, autonomous vehicles, and even quantum computing. Currently, companies like TSMC are producing 3 nanometers chips for clients like Apple, and Intel is pushing its own 3 nanometers efforts. But if China successfully enters the 3 nanometers market, it could shift the balance of global power in the semiconductor industry. Huawei's current focus on 7 nanometers chips, which power its Ascend AI chips and smartphones, has allowed it to remain competitive, but 3 nanometers represents a dramatic leap forward. Achieving 3 nanometers production would position Huawei not only as a competitive player, but potentially as a dominant force in chip making capable of challenging the West's current leadership in the field. The ripple effects of this technological leap extend beyond just China. If Huawei and SMIC succeed in producing advanced EUV machines and 3 nanometers chips, it could shake the monopoly that ASML holds on the global market for EUV machines. ASML has long been the go-to supplier for high-end chip makers like TSMC and Intel, but with China's growing capabilities, that monopoly is under threat. A cheaper, domestically produced EUV system could flood the market, driving down costs and making cutting-edge semiconductor manufacturing more accessible. Moreover, the U.S. sanctions, which are designed to cripple China's technological ambitions, may have unintentionally fueled a technological arms race within China. Rather than stifling innovation, the sanctions have spurred unprecedented levels of investment in R&D. And Huawei's founder recently told President Xi Jinping that chip shortages were easing, signaling that China's semiconductor industry is regaining momentum. Even companies like NVIDIA have started sounding the alarm about the rapid pace at which Huawei's AI chip capabilities are advancing. This technological push also aligns with China's broader goals of achieving technological sovereignty. Over the years, China has worked tirelessly to reduce its reliance on foreign technologies, and Huawei's advancements in semiconductor manufacturing are key to this effort. The opening of Huawei's new R&D campus in Shanghai, dedicated to the development of lithography machines and semiconductor technologies, highlights China's commitment to achieving full independence in chip production. Yet, despite the progress, there are still significant challenges ahead. While Huawei and SMIC's efforts have brought them closer to achieving their goal, Building a comprehensive EUV supply chain, including light sources, mirrors, lenses, and software, is no small feat. Experts like ASML CEO have cautioned that China remains years behind in terms of fully mastering the EUV process. However, with the breakthroughs already taking place, this gap is shrinking rapidly. By Q3 2025, the tech world will have a clearer picture of whether Huawei's EUV machine can live up to the hype. If successful, it will represent a pivotal moment in China's technological journey, a moment when it moved from being a follower in the chip-making race to a serious contender for global leadership. For now, all eyes are on China as it races to develop the next generation of semiconductors. Will Huawei and SMIC pull it off? The answer remains to be seen, but one thing is certain. The semiconductor game has irrevocably changed. This is no longer a battle between the U.S. and China, but a global contest where new players are emerging to challenge the established order. For now, all eyes are on China as it races to develop the next generation of semiconductors. Will Huawei and SMIC pull it off? Could China really bypass U.S. sanctions and crack the 3 nanometers chip code? If they succeed, how will this shift the global power dynamics in tech? And more importantly, what does this mean for the future of innovation? 
Can China become a dominant force in the semiconductor industry, or will the West continue to hold the upper hand? Let us know what you think. Is this the beginning of a new era in chip making? Drop your thoughts below. Do you believe China is about to change the game, or is this just another pipe dream? We want to hear from you.